All right, so we're zoomed in and ready to go. I also want to try these today as the base for the eye makeup, which I'm gonna start with. And this is the NYX Lid Lingerie. So it's like an eyeshadow primer um, that's very thin. I tried it out with the tester at Nulta. This is in the color Power Trip. So what I'm gonna do is take it out so it comes on a doe foot applicator. Have not tried it on my eyes yet, but let's try it. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> that cough is still lingering. So let's go on the lid first and just pat it out. I think it's gonna be really good as a primer but also to neutralize the color on your eyelids, which is something I have trouble with. If you can see, I mean, my skin is naturally pretty light and translucent. So it helps to have a base that has some color to it. I think that looks pretty good. I have one more color, and this is in the shade Iconic. So we're gonna take Iconic and layer that since it's a little bit deeper of a shade, layer it just on the lid. And let's try using a brush this time to blend out. Okay, so my other eye is done. I like the product. I think it dries down matte, like it says. And it looks to be kind of like similar to what a paint pot would do or a cream shadow. So we'll roll with it. I want to do something that clashes a little bit, so I want to keep the shadow and the transition color cool toned and then just do gold, just straight up gold on my eyelid. So I'm going to take this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, it's one of their mini quads, and this is in the shade Smoke. Actually right now, if you are interested in this, it has some really pretty grey colors and a black. It's $15 on Sephora on the sale. Um, portion of their website. I got this a while ago, but it's still on sale. So I think it's a really good deal because I love the colors. I'm first going to take the light white color right here on the end. And these have names, so this is just the highlight shade. And I'm going to go under the brow bone just so that none of that grayness from the NYX Lingerie Matte Shadows gets too close to the brow bone. I want to keep that kind of light. And I'm also going to go in here towards the inner portion of the eye and make sure that stays nice and light too. Let's zoom in a tiny bit more. All right, and then there's a gray kind of bluish slate color in here which is the contour shade and I'm gonna still put this in the crease because I want to keep my eyelid ready for that gold color so this gray will go in the crease but just on the outer portion of the eye and then use that lighter color to blend it out. So now we're gonna go to the gold, which is gonna go directly on our eyelids. So to help that stick a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, I want to use a cream shadow first as a base. So what I'm gonna to use today is from um, Laura Mercier. Cream eyeshadow, looks like this. And it's very easy and convenient to use. These are awesome for travel. Pretty much whenever I go to the beach, this is like the only eye makeup I'll bring because it looks really nice, but it also lasts forever. So I'm gonna start drawing this. And if you have hooded eyes like I do right now, or right now, I always do, but you're gonna wanna look down into your mirror so that the cream shadow doesn't get onto the crease of your eye. And really focus the color and build up the layering. So there's that gold shadow on. I'm gonna take my pinky finger and just tap to kind of smooth out any streaks there before we go in with shadow. The shadow I want to use to intensify this is going to be from 
the Anastasia Prism Palette, and it's going to be the color Pyramid, which you'll see right there. So just a gold, and it's going to work really well on top of this gold that we already have down. So I want to take the Pyramid color, and I'm going to tap it so you'll see the color will just barely start to intensify but I'm going to tap it across the entire eyelid and from that Anastasia palette I'm going to use the color Obsidian okay, which is just black I want to barely tap my brush in there I don't want to get too much and I'm going to stick to the outer corner of the eye This looks so good. I'm very happy with how gold this is. But I'm going to go back with a little bit more gold and just make sure the middle of the eye does not get too much black on it because I want that part to really stick out. Oh, for the liner. I'm going to try out this new liner that I got last night. Also at Ulta, which is the Voluminous Liner Noir L'Oreal Liquid Eyeliner. And it looks like this. Stop focusing on my face. And we're going to start down at the base of the lashes. Oh, pretty pigmented. Okay, so we're going to start to build a line. I want to keep it super thin in the inner corner and take it out to it really depends on your eye shape I like mine to be fairly um, straight not too lifted and out about you know a centimeter two three and then connect There's the liner! Now let's do the other eye. Let's zoom out and start the face. So, for the face, I have been loving a new foundation that is from the drugstore. And I don't know where I heard about it. I don't know how long it's been out. I don't know anything about it other than it stays on my face and it makes your skin look perfect. I have very dry skin. This is the Normal Dry Revlon Color Stay Broad Spectrum, oh, I didn't even know I had sunscreen. That is amazing. Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Makeup Liquid Foundation. Okay, and this is in the shade um, Buff 150. So I think this is either the lightest or the second lightest color that they have, which I need. Uh. So I'm going to start stamping this on my skin. You see that though? It's a, it's a beautiful foundation, really. And anytime I can buy something at the drugstore that I would traditionally buy at Sephora, which I find is happening more and more, I'm totally open to that because I think that these companies that are developing products like this are using the Sephora type market, the high end market, as their competition. And then buy your skincare more high-end, and that's really like what I'm a fan of. My sunscreen for my face is a long comb product. I really like using um, retinol products and vitamin C products and peels, AHAs, BHAs, all of those types of things to keep my skin exfoliated and looking its best. And a lot of times, I will go for a high-end product there, but as far as makeup, I'd rather not. I mean, I'd rather save the money and use it somewhere else. I've been using a hyaluronic acid from Derma E, which is a vegan company. You can buy their products actually at Sprouts, which is where I got it. I've been using a hyaluronic acid at night and in the morning. 
Hyaluronic acid is not like an alpha hydroxy or a beta hydroxy that's going to peel or exfoliate your skin and make your skin um, sensitive for a time. Um, hyaluronic acid is already naturally occurring in your skin. It draws water molecules to your skin and plumps up your skin. And I've been finding that my forehead lines and just the overall texture and plumpness, dewiness, naturally of my skin is a lot better recently so I think that's why I'm enjoying using more full coverage foundations. We're gonna do brows really quickly so I'm going to be using another drugstore product which is the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil in the color blonde. It's basically a do for Anastasia Brow Wiz and it's super fine like super fine the color is awesome especially if you are blonde I don't I mean I haven't tried any of the other colors so I don't know if they tend to be on the redder side or if they're actually good neutral browns or what the deal is with those but for blonde hair this is like a gray taupey blonde dream it's hard too the pencil is not super soft which I like because Brow, I want to be able to control really well. I want to control how much product's going in my brow. I want to have to actually take the time to do it. Whereas, you know, a liner or a cream shadow stick or something, you don't want it to be that hard because you want to get the color payoff. I don't think you need a high-end brow pencil. I haven't tried too many of the super high-end pencils, like... You know, you're talking Tom Ford, you're talking Givenchy, you're talking YSL. I don't, I don't even entertain those because, dang it, I really need another one of these now. Because they run out and it's not necessary. It's just not necessary. Speaking of what's not necessary to get high end of, mascara. The drugstore is killing it with mascara right now. I used to spend 23 or $30 on a tube of mascara. On a tube of black tar. <laughs> My favorite drugstore mascara is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This is in Black is Black. This is a brand new tube I just got yesterday. This is a dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced, which I adore and love. This is a straight up dupe. The packaging is the same. This is Better Than Sex. It's not, but it is called that. <laughs> okay, like, the packaging is both pink. They look the same. The writing on the packaging is very similar. And the brushes are almost identical. This is better than the sex one has a tiny bit more of a curve. But literally, that's what I'm saying. Don't, if you're a girl on a budget and you want a mascara that works really well, that is black, that's gonna give you good lashes, that's gonna build, and that honestly is very similar to mascara you could buy high-end that you've seen people talk about. Just try it out at the drugstore. Like, it, you can't really go wrong, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go in with this mascara. Let's start with powder. Okay, I'm pretty dry. But I do like to use powder in a few key areas because it looks good. You do, there are certain areas of the face you don't want oily or it looks sweaty. It straight up looks oily or you just don't really look, in my opinion, very hygienic. Um, that is around the hairline. It's a little bit in between the brows. It's down the center of the face and it's under the eyes if you prefer. For me, I prefer. If you choose to mattify it, one, you minimize the risk of having anything slide around down there. Um, mascara, concealer, whatever. Two, I think it gives and draws more attention to the whites of your eye, to the actual eye look you're trying to create because you don't have shininess taking away from that under the eye. Or under the eyes, like I said, and then you want to powder up by the hairline. Just looks better. Sorry, the lighting is crazy today, so now I've got some stripes going on, but oh well. I go in between the brows. I'm not 
oily by any means, but I just think that looks better. So I'm going to take the NARS Olympia Powder Duo. Take just a slanted kind of brush. And we're going to do a quick contour. So I'm just going to go back from pretty much like where the top of my ear lines up with this brush and do a quick contour like that just to add a little bit of shape to the cheekbones and I bring a little bit onto the apples of the cheeks since we're not going to be doing blush you could do blush um, for something like this it gets to be a lot for me and I kind of like to focus on the eyes and have those stand out a lot so that's why I'm going to skip that for today I'm also going to skip highlight which is crazy but I'm kind of on a matte kick lately so we'll leave it oh let's go for the lip I'm going to mix two things because three things because I have a fear that I'm not going to like straight up gray with this lip lingerie from NYX so I want to kind of ease myself into these kind of colors so I'm going to take the Clinique quick liner for lips intense and this is in the color intense cafe I'm going to take this Take a lip balm, anything. And I'm just gonna take some and use that in the center of the lip so it's gonna blend your lip liner a little bit. Now we're gonna take the NYX lip lingerie in the color Delicate Lust. Cute. Take some. A lot comes out on these applicators, so you're gonna have to like get some off of there, or you're gonna have a problem. Really liking though how that looks with the eyes. I think having the gold and then having the gray and then having a warm tone with the cool tone on top of the lip is really cute, and I am burning up right now. I should be doing more uploading now, at least once a week, I'm gonna try and do. So. That's the goal now that I'm back to full health and here to stay. Yeah. Um, get your face on. Okay, bye. <laughs>